Man, you Rush fans, you need to get over yourselves. So I decided to do this little rant because we have Giddy Lee coming out with his My Effin' Life memoir on November 14th. I think as I drop this video, it's going to be the same day that the book is released. I think there's been some pre-releases, but uh, officially the release is November 14th. And there's been some speculation, and I'm not going to put any of the links of any of those speculations, articles, whatever, where it has been expressed in some way by Giddy Lee that it's possible that him and Alex Lifeson would be getting back together at some capacity to make some music. Who knows if it's live? Who knows? It was just, it's been mentioned that they're going to make, it's possible that they get together to make some music. If you go to a lot of these Facebook forums, these Rush forums, you see, you know, <laughs> the Rush fans have their opinions as to what they should do. And uh, some of those opinions are pretty forceful. They're fr pretty like, no, they shouldn't do anything. Or maybe there's a possibility that they might call it Rush. And some are saying there's no way that they should do that. Rush is done. They were done in August of 2015. They're like, if they do anything, I'm not going to watch that. I just want to say, who are you? Who are you to say what Giddy Lee and Alex should do, what they should call themselves, whatever they want? It's not up to you. It's up to them. You know, they're the ones who are going to do what they feel like is best for them and for the legacy of Rush. And as a matter of fact, we don't even know what they're going to do, if anything. It's Maybe a little more than speculation now. They, they've hinted that they may, you know, get together to do something. But I don't know why it is with some Rush fans that they feel like they have an eye into the mind of these guys. And they they know what it is that, <laughs> that these guys should do. You know, they should consult me and I will tell them what they need to do. Definitely don't call it Rush because it's not Rush. Neil Peart is not there anymore. Even Getty Lee wasn't there at the beginning of Rush. If you go way, way back. And Neil Peart was not in Rush at the beginning either. We know John Rutsey was the first drummer. So was that not Rush because Neil Peart was not there then? Getty Lee has expressed this. I don't want to play in Rush without those other two guys. You know, there's no replacing anybody in this band. It's just not possible. It is the band, the three of us, you know. Even though he's the new guy, he's just as important. Okay, so he expressed that. He said he was never going to do that. No, there was never going to be any rush if any of the band members were missing. Obviously, Neil Peart is missing. He's not here. So that was then, right? And, you know, when Neil Peart was around, and now he's not around, and, you know, there's been a time of mourning. It's been almost four years since Neil Peart passed away, and... Alex and Getty have gotten together a couple of times to play Rush songs. It didn't matter if they call themselves Rush or not. They played Rush songs. Getty Lee and Alex Lifeson are Rush. Okay? They are two members of the band. And if they want to get together to play some music, whether they create new music or they play some of their Rush tunes, that's Rush. If they want to call it that, that's totally up to them. It's not up to any of us, any of you to say what they should and shouldn't do. I mean, it's kind of like, it's, such, it's almost comical, the entitlement that some of these Rush fans have to tell the guys what they should do. I mean, you don't. No, none of us do. And to all of those Rush fans who say, you know, I'm not going to see anything they do. I'm not going to see any of this. It's not Rush. You know, I guarantee you that if Giddy Lee and Alex Lyson appeared in your town um, to do some sort of gig of any type, you're going because these guys are 70 years old and there's no way you're going to pass up an opportunity to see them possibly really for the last time. You know, I mean, who knows what they're going to do after this? Again, I'm not saying, I'm not affirming that they're going to do anything. You all can look up on the internet, any of the articles, any of the interviews that have been posted uh, that Gary Lee has done recently. And you can see for yourselves, you can deduce if you think they are going to do anything at all together. And trust me, if they're going to be close by to all of you guys who have said that you won't see them, you're going to see them. I mean, seriously. I mean, it's Getty Lee and Alex Lyson, you know, the guys we love, right? The guys we, you know, always wanted to uh, 
you know, the guys we always wanted to see when they came around. Now, as far as, okay, I'll give you my personal opinion. As a matter of fact, um, in a previous video, I expressed what I thought about them after their August 2015 last show. Here's the clip. When they finished it off, August 1st, 2015, and that was their last show, I was happy for them. I, did, I never needed them to do anything ever again. And of course, if Alex or Getty do anything, whether together or individually, I'll look forward to it and I'll be happy for them as well. Okay, that's what I thought. As far as I'm concerned, I don't care what they do at all. If they never do anything again, I'm okay, I'm okay with it. They, they have every right to not do anything ever again, musically speaking. Uh, if they decide to do something, I'm there. I'm, I'm going to back them up. I'm going to go see them. Because, again, it may definitely be the last time we may see them at any musical capacity if they do some sort of little tour, they do a few dates, uh, very, you know, sparsely, because, you know, it's not like they're touring like they used to before. So, yeah, I support them whatever they do. It doesn't matter to me. So that's that. Now, I do have one more note for all of these new, I don't want to say supposedly new fans. I mean, yes, new fans of Rush, especially all of those that have come on on YouTube doing all of these Rush reactions and so many, so much positive feedback on how great these guys are. Yeah, just fantastic. I love seeing them. I mean, I love seeing all these New, these young people reacting to Rush, and like, and even you know, classically trained people, opera singers, classical musicians, rap fans, all, all of these types of all of these types of music lovers, they see Rush and they're like flabbergasted, like, wow, what, where have this, where has this been all my life? To all of you guys out there, I'm telling you, the ones that you've been lamenting, oh, I wish I could have seen these guys live. What would it have been like to have seen them live? Granted, Neil Peter's not around. It's not Rush as we knew them for all these decades. However, if Alex Fleissen and Getty Lee are going to play near you or in your town, this is your chance. This is your chance to see somewhat what it's like. You know that whatever they do, it's going to be top notch because it's always been that way. No matter if it's them doing some acoustic sets or if they get themselves some drummer drummers to play their Rush songs, and some new songs that uh, Getty Lee mentioned. There's a couple of new songs coming out with his book, and um, there may be some other new material that they that him and maybe Alex have been working on. This is your chance, guys. All of you new to, new YouTubers who are or reactors to Rush that have just discovered them uh, during the past few years, if these two guys come to your town, this is your chance to see them live. I'm telling you. This is it. So don't blow it. This is your chance. So do your little research. Go search in the internet. Go Google Rush News, Getty Lee News, and just see what's going on with them. Uh, I'm not going to go through all of the articles. You know, I think the Washington Post uh, interview and other things uh, with Getty Lee. Check it all out. So I just wanted to get that rant out of the way. You Rush fans that are so stuck up in your ways thinking you know what's in Getty Lee's head and Alex's head. Just, you know, forget about that. You know, get over yourselves. Just take in the great news that there might be possibly something new coming from Alex and Getty. And if they come to your town, you know you're going to see them. And if they come out with new material, you're probably going to buy it. If they come out with any videos on, on YouTube, you're probably going to see it. You're not going to ignore it. You're not going to be saying, no, I'm not. I'm not. That's not Rush. I'm not. I'm not going to watch that. Yes, you are admit it anyway that's my rant you know i love you guys i love all you rush fans you know it just gets me it's entertaining to me <laughs> to see uh, all these people they just react and thinking they know which you know none of us know anything until it comes out so as far as me i'm just gonna sit back wait patiently until i see something come by in front of me and i'm jumping at it that's it for now if you like uh what you saw on this video please like it also, I'm going to ask you to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, because YouTube thinks it's a good idea that we ask viewers to subscribe to the channel. So I'm asking that of you. If you like Rush 
And uh, if you want to check out the other videos that are in this channel, please subscribe. I'm Omar of All About Rush, and I'll see you in the next video.